San Diego County reaching temperatures that we really have not felt in years. Mm. How have you been handling this heat oh, wave? Oh, well, are you asking me directly? I've been very a grumpy. Rhetorical. At the, oh, wait, no. Okay, sorry. No, that's I, not, <laughs> Dr. Abby from Sharp Reese Steely is here uh, to talk about I mean, the fact that this can be very dangerous, by the way. So good morning, first of all. Good morning. It's good to see you both. Very good to see you. Yeah. We're talking about this heat wave and, you know, we broke records yesterday in the triple digits, yeah. but this can be very dangerous for some. Absolutely, yeah. So we're seeing these record temperatures and it's actually very concerning because we're going to continue to have this conversation year after year. Temperatures keep climbing and yes, it can be very dangerous because of things like heat stroke, which can really be life threatening for a lot of people. So we really want to take precautions and we want to be really careful out there. Most at risk, we talk about this a lot, usually the, the, the very, very young, mm -hmm. the very, very old, and in, in the middle if your health yeah. is compromised, but uh, the, the, the trick there is to get that message out if people aren't really taking it seriously. Yes, exactly. And a lot of times when people actually have complications from this, it's yeah. when they don't realize that they don't prepare ahead of time. Sure. It's too late. So you want to make sure that you are hydrating. You want to make sure that if you are someone who's older or very young, that you're more careful parents and their children playing outside. A lot of times they just forget because kids don't necessarily love to drink water, right? They don't find it very good. <laughs> they want to put good. sugar in it or yeah, something yeah. in it. Yeah, exactly. Powder. Exactly. They don't really want to stop to drink water. So it's very important that that you are being mindful of that. And then medications, like some sure. people take medicines, for example, um, diuretics that are dehydrating mm -hmm. and even certain kinds of antidepressants, for example. So it's very important yeah. that you start to prepare and stay hydrated. And yeah, watch the local news, watch the Fox 5 um, news, because then it tells you ahead of time when it's going to be yeah. hot, because if you're not paying attention, you may not realize it. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. And yeah. it's so important when you talk about staying hydrated so you don't become dehydrated, mm -hmm. this is not something that you can do the day of. You, typically, the, yes. the hydration takes like 24, is it 48 hours even? To, to the point where you can actually hydrate your body. So true, yes, preparation is key yeah. because again, most of the time you're trying to catch up and it's too late. Right. So make sure that yes, you start to stay hydrated. And again, most people are just not hydrated enough. Most people don't really drink enough water. I talk to my patients sometimes and I'm like, have you had anything to drink today? And they're like, coffee? And I'm just right. like, that's not really great. Oh. So most people about... <laughs> but it's <laughs> water. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's not only water. But of course, you know, that's not the appropriate hydration. You want to make sure, like women, for example, should have probably eight cups to nine cups on average, probably a little higher for men. Most people just don't get there. So it's yeah. very important to protect yourself by staying hydrated. You, I, I don't think there's been a time Time where, where I see more and more people, schools especially, everybody yes. walking around with their little container of water. So some yes. of the message is getting out there. Yes. Uh, let's talk the, the warning signs. I know you mentioned 24 to 48 hours where it kicks in. And what are some yes. of the warning signs that maybe I am dehydrated? What, what do I look out for? Yeah, so if you notice that you are sweating a lot mm -hmm. and then just think about where you are and where you're doing. If you're exercising outside, you sure. haven't been hydrated. And in terms of the very extreme things like heat stroke, unfortunately, yeah. it's really more so that someone has very clammy skin Skin, their skin is like red and hot and then really altered mentation is what people tend to point out so people around you are noticing that you are you know just not quite there then make wow. sure that you get that person help immediately most of the time if it's really bad you actually aren't necessarily aware of it so it's important that you keep that in mind what happens if we were talking a lot about um, these power outages over the weekend yes. so you've got the yes. heat now you've got the power outages there's no AC you don't have a fan uh, how can you keep yourself cool when something like that happens well I'm gonna go a bit of a tangent here you know to answer this question because it's very important to realize that all of this has to do with climate change right because it's and it's immediate it's affecting us we're gonna have more and more of these power outages and this definitely puts us at risk so it's very important that we start to think about all the things we can do to prevent this overall but you can use fans you can use like a um, wet cloth in front of a fan you can make sure that you're wearing like clothing turn off electrical appliances that you're not using open windows try to improve ventilation and then making sure that you're hydrated have enough water around you so all of those things are important but unfortunately we're gonna see more and more of these power outages yeah. which really put people at risk of of complications and if this. there's anything we can leave you with is sip on the water the whole day and I tell the kids yes. they have sports they have this it's like even if you're not thirsty 
take a little sip yes. as you go throughout your day. Exactly. Because yes. like you said, it's just, you can't catch up. That's important. And uh, by the time it's like I told them, oh, you get parts, oh, I'm so thirsty, go, 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 go. That doesn't exactly. really. Yeah. Exactly. At that right? point, you need IV fluids and oh you can't God. hydrate yeah. enough. Mm -hmm. So it's important to stay prepared ahead of time. Oh, Dr. Abby, thank you as always. Great information. You. Appreciate it.